Have you recently gone to visit your parents and when you arrived at their home, your heart sinks as you witness changes in their physical appearance or behaviors as well as the condition of their home? The last time you visited, they seemed fine and in control of everything. The house was immaculate, they looked sharp and healthy, and now they're looking and behaving so differently. In their house, it used to be so pristine and well kept. What is going on? Hi everyone, I'm Kelly Nold with The Nold Group, and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you seven signs that your aging parents need more support at home. Seeing physical and behavioral changes in your parents can be upsetting but no need to panic. Scott and I work with seniors every day and know that these changes could really just be warning signs that your aging parents need more assistance to remain living independently while staying safe and healthy. Here are some warning signs that your loved one might need more support at home. Number one, changes in the home environment. Have you noticed that their home is in more disarray, messier, or more cluttered than normal? You might see dirty dishes and laundry piling up or less than clean counters and toilets. Do they have a pet and you're seeing stains on the carpet where there weren't any before? These things may indicate that your parents are beginning to decline. They may not have the energy to take care of the dishes, laundry, and cleaning like they used to. Maybe you see scorched cookware on the stove. Yikes! This could be a sign that your parents are forgetting that something is cooking on the stove until it burns. This really is a red flag for a possible safety issue. Number two, unexplained weight loss. Have you noticed that your parent is significantly thinner than they were the last time you visited? Look closely at the way their clothes are fitting on them. Do they seem to be floating in their own clothing? Unintended weight loss could suggest that your parent is having trouble managing their nutritional needs. Having trouble managing their nutritional needs may be potentially due to several factors. It could be due to memory issues. You know, from a scientific standpoint, there is growing evidence that weight loss later in life can be an early sign of mental decline and the development of Alzheimer's disease. Because the brain regulates so many of the body's functions, including hunger and satiety, scientists say it makes sense that the effect of Alzheimer's disease in the brain could affect many different aspects of bodily functions, including weight. It could also be due to physical limitations. Your loved one may not have the ability or energy to go grocery shopping or prepare meals several times a day. Or it really could be something as simple as they just don't have as much of an appetite as they used to. Number three, medication mismanagement. Are you seeing unused or expired medications? Are they having a hard time remembering to take their medications as prescribed? Many seniors are taking upwards of three different medications, each coming with their own set of dosing instructions, which can be overwhelming for your parents. If you are there with them over the course of a few days, do a stock check to see if the right number of pills have been used. This will help you gain insight into whether your aging parent is taking the right dosage of, dosage of medication on a regular basis. Number four, unopened mail and unpaid bills. Does it look like their mail is piling up, much like the laundry and dishes in the sink? You might see late payment notices, an expired registration on their vehicle, or an expired driver's license. Unpaid bills and expired licenses or vehicle registrations could be signs that your parent is slowing down cognitively. If you're seeing any of the signs in your parents that I've shared so far and can use our help, please call me or send a text or email just be sure to reach out. We have so many years of experience recognizing the signs and will help you navigate the challenges that come with parents who can use more help at home and knowing when the help they need exceeds what is available. Now let's move on to the remaining signs. Number five, changes in mood. Does your parent appear depressed or have little to no energy? Are they irritable or easily agitated? Have they withdrawn from social activities or family interactions? Changes in mood and personality can be indicators of an underlying health issue such as dementia or depression, which really may require professional assessment and intervention. Number six, physical frailty. Have you noticed that your parent who normally likes to take walks, golf, or is typically involved in other activities has started to slow down or not do these things at all? If your parent is struggling to walk up and down stairs, 
demonstrating an unbalanced gait while walking, or sitting in one spot for hours and then experiencing pain when they stand up, those could be signs or symptoms of medical problems and should be addressed. Number seven, possible abuse. Have you noticed suspicious bruises, binding marks, and burns? Withdrawal from friends or usual activities? How about anger, hyperactivity, or even suicidal thoughts or attempts? Maybe changes in appetite or depression? It's important to pay close attention to physical, behavioral, and living environment for signs that your loved one might be suffering from abuse, neglect, or exploitation. And if you suspect that there is something happening to your loved ones, you can report it by calling the Department of Elder Affairs for the state of Florida. The Department of Elder Affairs and its partners can connect individuals to resources in their communities and obtain support for your aging parents so they have safety living in their own homes and finding fulfillment in their golden years. I've included several of those resources down below. If you have concerns that your aging parent needs more support at home, or if you believe they may need more support that can be provided at home, you're not alone. Whether you simply need help selling your real estate or are in need of resources specifically created to help our senior community and their caregivers, call me. As a senior real estate specialist, I take great pride in having a network of reliable and trustworthy senior related professionals who have been specifically trained in helping our senior community. If you found value in this video, please hit those subscribe and like buttons and don't forget to press that notification button so you know when we add a new informative video.